instance. Let's redefine the error. So if the dictionary does not contain, so it contains excess arguments, then you normally get an error. Okay. But if the function yeah, has this, then any excess arguments will go there. Okay. And no error. And it's up to the function to decide what to do. That's what Anton is showing now. In this case, the function doesn't care about extra arguments you are passing. It's only caring about the arguments that the function knows about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was thinking when you said so you maybe need a new. Is there something like a switch in Python? No, no. Yeah. If, if, if. <laughs> in some cases, uh, you use a dictionary or another tab tuple for some specific class of that. No, there is no switch. Uh, exercise F. So, it's a kind of max function which instead of returning the maximum value, it will return the keys of the maximum value. We have uh, um, the function must accept a um, variable, an arbitrary number of keyword arguments, so something like a equal whatever, and uh, it returns the key corresponding to the maximum values. So you have a dictionary with uh, the keys are to the little strings and values are numbers, and you have to compute the maximum and uh, without the keys uh, corresponding to that. Yes. Do we have a use case for this? Yes, sure, sure. Example. Yes. Please give example. Maxar, Ekrit, Nicol, and this. So the exercise is quite contrived, but okay. Mm -hmm. yes. So you get to play with the yeah, in the star star. In the feedback form, if you have any meaningful <laughs> <laughs> exercise to propose, <laughs> you, can, you can do that. We will love that. Yes. Yes. It's always hard to find an exercise which is both meaningful and useful for you. If you can propose good exercise, you might win a couple of <laughs> <laughs> It's still a problem. Python threat. Binding. Then you want to do that. 